Well, hallelujah, friends, and welcome back to Hayek Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, hallelujah. Well, friends, do you know that we live in a world where divorces outnumber marriages? Now, what does that tell us? Quite simply, it tells us that people are used to breaking their promises. People are very comfortable in not keeping their words. Now, when we apply this to our journey with Jesus and to Holy Scripture, we know that there are consequences for our actions. King David himself said, after his transgression against the Lord with Bathsheba, said in Psalm 51, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness." According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. He says again in verse 9, Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. He says in verse 7, Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Verse 10, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. So David understood that there was consequences to his actions. Paul tells us in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. We are reminded of this this morning, not only because divorces outnumber marriages, but more destructively, those who claim to know the Lord Jesus Christ, those who claim to have given their lives unto him, walk away from that relationship rather than remain in it. Now, if you were to talk to many of those who have gone through divorce, ultimately the reason for these decisions is that they were not able to weather the storms that the relationship endured over time. And in the same way, we experience storms in our spiritual journey. It would even seem that many times there are more days that are stormy than there are that are clear, bright, and sunny. And so because the path becomes too difficult to climb, many turn their back and go back to the ways of the world, go back to the very things that they were delivered from. And yet as we realize our mistake, like David, we cry out unto the Lord to wash us, to renew us, and to certainly take not thy spirit from us. And the baggage that we now carry, the weight of the burden that we now carry, from knowing that we have failed the Lord, seems to slow our progress in our journey. It's hard to put those things behind us and to walk forward as if they never happened. Micah tells us in chapter 7, verse 9, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. And I will bear this indignation until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. And so what Micah seems to be saying here is we have to earn the trust of the Lord. The trust that he once placed in us was broken because of our indiscretion. And so we have to wait upon the Lord and we have to remain faithful until he takes the consequence of our actions off of our shoulders, and now we begin to walk in the blessing that we once knew. I share that with you this morning because, as I mentioned earlier, it seems more people have abandoned the Lord than have remained faithful. 
If you seek opportunity in sharing your testimony with others and what the Lord has done for you and what he can do for them, this is the story that you will most often hear. And so what we must remind ourselves and others of is this promise in Micah chapter 7. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I've sinned against him, but I'll only do this until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. Then he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Friends, I don't know what your past looks like. I don't know what burdens you carry, but the message of the Lord to you this morning is to hold on. Remain faithful. Don't give up. Because as the old saying goes, every cloud has a silver lining. At the end of every dark tunnel, there is light. Don't be like so many others. Don't cave to the pressure. Know that God has a purpose. He is in control. And that dark cloud that hangs over you now will one day dissipate. And the sun will shine forth again in your life. Let us close by this promise, friends, of our Lord Jesus. If we sin against him, he is faithful and just to forgive us that sin. I love you, friends. Now, as Yahweh wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.